Welcome everyone to Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition for the Nintendo Switch. As the name says, this version specifically is an enhanced, more definitive version I guess, of the Wii U version that came out several years before this. Now, I played a couple Zelda games here and there, and in general I'm a big fan of Nintendo and Zelda, but I haven't done too many Let's Plays of Zelda games. I've done Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, both for the 3DS, I've done Link's Awakening uh, for the Switch, and I've also done the original Zelda for the uh, NES, but that was years ago when I did that, when I first began my channel. So I believe I've only done four Zelda games on my channel. This one technically is one that's more of a spin-off series, but um, regardless, it's a fun one. It's a fun, fun one for sure. Let me go ahead and select language here. Okay, it's already fine. I don't know why I had to do that. And then we're just going to press any button to begin. So, obviously, I know that Age of, Cumble, uh, Age of Calamity, my bad, uh, just came out of... By the, I think by the time this video is going to be up, it will have come around like a month to two months ago. Um, which is the sequel, technically. But not really when it comes to the story, because it's more so a prequel to um, Breath of the Wild. I'm talking about Age of Calamity. Um, so, gameplay style, it's, you can say, the successor of this game, but not necessarily a story sequel. That's what gets a little confusing sometimes. Uh, but anyway, let's go into settings here and see. I will be doing Age of Calamity uh, for sure, especially if it's very highly requested. Turn enemy grunt health cages on or off. Do I even care about that shit? I'm going to put on. Um, play in adventure mode. Whether well, cinematics play. Made of battle. So it's saying adventure mode. I'm going to go with off. Well, I'll keep it on because I'm going to do legend mode first, obviously. 8-bit weapons, you want certain multi to be 8-bit, no, <laughs> no, 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 uh, confirm settings, that's fine. Controller settings, rumble I like to put off, I don't really like rumble in games. I'm going to keep these two standard and we'll see if that actually is fine. Volume settings, that's fine too, whoops, there we go, and then let's go back. Alright, so it's only legend mode as you can see, all this other stuff is currently locked, you're like, what the heck, because we got to start with legend mode, we have to do it. And that's the main story of the game. So I'm going to stop talking when there's a voice acting because there are certain parts where there's a little bit of voice acting. Uh, mostly just narration, I would say. But yeah, wow, I remember this game when it first came out. This was like, what, six years ago, I think, for the Wii U around there? I don't actually specifically remember it. I want to say it's like 2014? Might be a little off with that. Alright. So here's Zelda talking. And now here's Impa. I could be reading some things here and there, of course, but it'll just it'll just kind of depend. I'll, I'll like pick and choose, you know. But yeah, it, it's gonna be a fun game for sure. I mean, in my opinion, at least, you know, it's it, it takes a lot of obviously it takes the elements, you know, because it's saying uh, Hyrule Warriors from Dynasty Warriors, but with Zelda characters. You know, with just the whole Zelda, um, Zelda setting, the Zelda lore, which is which is great for sure. And here's the introduction of Link. Yeah, the, the game did receive uh, various forms of DLC throughout the years, uh, to the point where there was just so much, and I mean so much, damn content for this game like it's crazy with all the DLC and stuff there's a lot of stuff and here's the trainee speaking okay so we're about to get into the first mission already Here comes the army. <laughs> and just like that, we go out there. First loading screen of the game. I don't think loading screens take um, too long. Actually, I might be wrong about that. This one seems like it's taken a while. <laughs> My bad. All right. The minimap on the screen will show you what's happening near the warrior you are controlling. Pay attention to the icons to see which enemy you must defeat. Even if you are not 
or sorry, not near the enemies you need to defeat, you can see in which direction they are located. Yes, that is true. All right. Welcome to Hyrule Field. Hyrulean forces are fighting in multiple locations. All right, here we go. So it's going to give a little bit of a... I haven't attacked yet, of course. You know what, I'll just... Bat oh my god, that is a very fast camera, which is cool. Alright, so... Essentially, you attack with Y. Um, X will do a crazy... A crazy... <laughs> a different attack, for sure. Um, you can do your combo attacks like this, and you'll see, uh, you know, if you're ranking up kills and whatever, which is great. You'll also be getting a lot of rupees naturally just by defeating enemies. Uh, pressing X is your different attack. So if you just press X, it does a... For Link, it would be the great spin. Which is cool, you know? You can also hold it to do a charge up. If you hold X, watch this again, you can do a charge up great spin. Is that like Navi? Tattle? <laughs> Proxy, that's right. Oh, the memories, I'm forgetting all this stuff. It'll come to me. It's been a year since I played this game, for sure. So there are gold scorchulas in this game. Uh, the majority of gold scorchulas can be obtained by getting 1,000 kills within the level. As you can see, I'm already at 300. Defeating enemies fills your special attack age. Press A to use up your special attack age and perform a powerful special attack. Okay. Pick up magic jars to refill your magic age. When your magic age is full, you can use a technique called Focus Spirit. Okay. So we'll just, we can keep attacking more. But yeah, see, it's essentially um, a hack and slash game. I, I didn't really mention that before. Sometimes there are captains that take a little bit more damage, but they're usually controlling bases or that kind of stuff, and then that shifts to blue. When it's blue, that means it's yours, and you'll get some, uh, some, some warriors spawning at your side. And that's it. You don't have to defeat literally every single enemy, but I mean... Sometimes it's nice to, you know, defeat a bunch. Alright, here we get introduced to one of the first uh, main villains. Dragon Knight Volga. By pressing L, you can make the camera lock onto a nearby powerful enemy. Move uh, right stick while targeting an enemy to change the uh, enemy being targeted. Targeting is useful when striking enemies opening or evading a giant enemy's attack. Okay, let me just read that again. Okay. Sounds good. So it's just L. You know, you can of course move and then you target. Cool. It's all good. Okay, so you press that. You can see. And then um, his that little mirror that disappeared, that's when that's what lets you, lets you do combo attacks. Usually after they do some kind of attack, they're left a little open like that. Then you just keep attacking to lower that as much as possible. Alright, so Link just got annihilated by an attack and Impa has come to the rescue, so... Um, Link and Impa are two of the warriors on the light side, of course, they're going to be able to control. There's a lot of characters in the game, like I said, and even more with the DLC that was added on. But even without the DLC, there's a pretty fair amount of en of, um, of enemies, I was, I was going to say enemies, of characters that you are able to use, especially during adventure mode, uh, when that becomes a lot more, you know, open and widely available for flexibility. Could you be? She says. Alright. The East Field's about to fall. Well, you know what? Who gives a shit? Oh, that's the dragon move. That's a crazy move right there. Oh my god, the camera's going a little little weird. Oh no, that's not the dragon move. I thought he was going to do the dragon move. I know that he has a crazy dragon move. Why did I press that? I did not mean to press that. You've got to be kidding me. I accidentally pressed A, yeah. Uh, be careful with that because... um. It, it, you don't get like a warning. It's just, hey, you know, you, you clearly um, press A, so here's the move, and you might waste it. 
All right, so we got some more. Um, we got a Lazalfos over here. Okay. Now I haven't mentioned like um, unique attacks after a combo, because if you press like Y Y Y and then you press X after, you may sometimes do a different move. Oh, that actually hit me a little bit there. So it's uh, just uh, important to know um, the different types of combos for each character. Let's get Goron Captain. Okay, so how many kills? Uh, 715. Yeah, once again, if you reach a thousand, you get to unlock a uh, Skulltula. But I don't, I don't think we're spending too much time here. It's fine. I pressed the wrong button again. Oh my god, sorry. To open chest, it's not A, it's Y. My bad on that. I, it's okay. It's, it's the first level of the game. I don't need to be using my A move anyway. It's, it's all good. He got some bombs. Tossed by enemies for a devastating effect. They're also great for blowing up boulders. Why, yes, they are. Oh, great. We get caved in here. Well, that's just wonderful. Press ZR to use your currently equipped items, such as bombs or a potion. Simple enough? Oh, look at this. I gotta level up. I'll be talking more about that stuff later on. Alright, so it's just... it's ZR. <laughs> you just... you can just toss a bunch. It's pretty funny, actually. It's not just like laying a bomb, you know, like... Now playable, okay. Change the warrior directly controlling with... Um, up again, maybe times when the number of warriors you can control increases as scenarios progress. Zelda must capture Westfield. Okay. So I go up, and I can change. As you can see, Zelda's in a different, in a completely different section here. Okay, so let's see if I remember this come One, two, three, four. No, I think it was one, two, three, then attack. I remember Zelda having three. That one's a little bit different. One, two. Okay, do you, do you see that? There's all these different combo attacks. Oh crap, I should have actually been locking on. Oh. Here, that's a crazy Lizalfos right there. Let's take care of you. Sure, sounds good. Okay, we gotta, um, we gotta kill that outpost captain over here. Who's like, in the way, you know? You. I mean, it's easy enough. There we go. It might be five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. One. All right. I mean. So yeah. Once again, I'm doing this by pressing Y a number of times and then X. If I do one, two, that's the one that you just saw, and you can keep on doing your combos, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm getting distracted by all this shit everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. That one's pretty good too, because it actually cleanses a huge amount of um, enemies. Okay. And then that that attack, I believe, ups your... Okay, Gold Scorchula. Sorry, I got interrupted. There are 260 Gold Scorchulas today around the world. By defeating them and gathering the illustration pieces they drop, uh, you will be rewarded with special bonuses. Gold Scorchulas will only appear within the spider's web on the map once you fulfill certain battle conditions. They flee after a set period of time has passed, so move quickly. You can check information on Gold Scorch Lost hidden on a given battlefield from the Select Scenario screen. However, some only appear when using specific warriors or weapons. Alright, so it also tell you, so as you can see, if I actually switch back into the next character, it's then telling me, hey, there's a Gold Scorch Lost somewhere, and here it is. Defeat a Gold Scorch Lost, collected an illustration piece. Nice. Now I can switch back. It basically gets put on pause just to kind of let you know. Um, like when you switch, it's not like your character's gonna be in danger right over there, you know, like getting annihilated. No, that's not true. Here's the keep boss. And that's it. Captured it. But that's essentially how the game plays. And you get a bunch of troops here because it's your base, you know, so it's, it's, it's pretty nice for sure. Alright. 
I'm gonna keep going. I don't know if it'll let me keep going to the east, but we'll try it. Can also break that. Whoops, I'm pressing the wrong button. It's ZR, not ZL. That's a big fill up, okay. Not much there. A lot of these places are closed. SP4. I'm gonna switch back. Oh, this. Got it, got it. Okay. That's what I had to do. Zelda and Link rendezvous. Yes, they did. Alright. Now what are we doing? They're just talking right now in the bottom left, as you can see. Dark forces have an... Ooh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna bring out Link. Usually Link, um... Is a lot better. I, would, I mean, Link is one of the better characters, but mainly because of that fucking great spin, the charge of great spin. It is crazy how much you can actually annihilate enemies. Like within seconds, they can just wipe out complete areas. All right, keep boss has been destroyed, and then we can just keep advancing. Uh, capturing outposts is oh capturing keeps seize keeps to stem the flow of enemy reinforcements so take a keep fully reduced to keep meter by defeating enemies within the keep. The keep meter can be found below the battlefield map. Once the keep meter is empty, the keep boss will appear. Defeat him and the keep is yours. Yeah, makes sense. So you just have to defeat enough enemies until the keep boss basically appears. Here's an outpost captain. Outposts work a little bit differently. They're not like keeps so or they're not like actual bases, but um. They at least provide a little bit more assistance to you. Oh, look at this here. Crazy, crazy. Alright, hello, those Alphos. Yeah, see, these take a definitely a little bit more. Oh, you hit me right there. Highland Captain defeated Los Alphos. Wow. Usually, that doesn't really happen. <laughs> it's usually mostly you taking on those mini bosses and fighting them throughout. Okay, so what we have to do, apparently there's, like, it's pointing down here. I mean, I guess I can go take out some enemies for sure. But I gotta keep going to the other side, which would be this way. Go to the right, and then I would need to go up this way. Yep, it's already captured though. It's all good. Lincoln Zelda must arrive at the Fairy Fountain, which is way down there. Okay, we're gonna run. Run, 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 all the way down. It's kind of a... Actually, it's a pretty long pathway to get over it. There's also another base over there that I can capture. Sometimes uh, certain bases will actually generate a, um, a chest. I, I, I do know that. And then, yeah, sometimes they also guard um, these bosses, so you gotta be, be a little careful. They guard, immediately back away, let them do an attack, be a little vulnerable, kind of like real Zelda, you know? Just gotta be a little strategic, I guess. Right, and then just one attack away, and he's dead. Simple enough. Yeah, so you don't technically need to do that, but um, doing that kind of stuff does actually help out a lot. There's also an outpost over here, outpost captain, but I mean this guy should go down really easily. There we go. Now we capture the outpost. Alright, so I'm going to go over here now to the bottom right corner. Alright, another outpost. It'll be nice to capture this little outpost as well. That way we just have some, some additional backup, you know? There we go. Okay, now there's this. Then we gotta destroy that wall. And we have made it. You can now play as Impa. Alright, now we're gonna have to use Impa to defeat the advancing Los Alphos. 
Where is, um... Oh, shit. Over here. Got it. Let's go. You essentially want to look at the, um, the green circles on the map. That's what will actually indicate, you know... Where specifically you should be going. Okay, what's your... Oh, damn. Okay. There we go. Vulnerable. Vulnerable stage. You should be dead pretty much immediately. Yep. There we go. Simple enough. That one's an interesting one. The the X button move for Impa. But see, that's why Link just makes things so much more simplistic. You just spam your immediate, like, your charged great spin and that's it, you know? Alright, so we're just waiting around a little bit. These attacks are a little a little crazy. It's ready to use? Okay. Use the magic circle. Oh, Zola has left the battlefield. Well then. Defeat 2,000 enemies. I already did that. Or defeated, I meant. I did that. Alright. Sorry, I've just been like... Whatever. I should be doing this. Why... Why... Dude, I pressed the button. Oh, pff, okay, that, that was weird. I pressed the Y button first. Alright, so here is the Great Fairy. Alright, so I gave 347 more KOs. Just like that. Each army has a morale level. When morale is high, an army will glow brightly and become stronger. When morale is low, the army will look darkly shaded instead. Alright, so what are we doing now? I just assume we can counterattack. Press R when your magic age is full to use the Focus Spirit ability. While Focus Spirit is active, attack power and speed increase. Incoming knockback damage is reduced and defeating a certain number of enemies will yield various special bonuses. Press A while under the effects of Focus Spirit to completely consume your magic age, allowing you to use a Focus Spirit attack that topples opponents, exposing weak points. Dark Wizard is talking now. And here is King Dodongo. Fire breathing King Dodongo. Alright, so. I'm actually, uh. Pretty far ish. The boss is over there. Oh, I don't think I can actually get through there, though. Well, we'll see. Oh, there we go. It just broke. It just broke something. It's advancing toward Castle Keep. Holy shit. Okay, so I believe... Because you gotta use weak, uh, you know... Weaknesses. How, how was this again? It's been a while since I've actually done this kind of stuff. Giant bosses possess health and strength. Farks are passing with no normal foes. Find items that... Attack the monster's weak points and set yourself up for a weak point smash. Whoa, 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 it was not locking on there. I'm trying to remember this. Oh, there we go. That's the one thing that you do. And there we go. It's stunned. Now you can attack it.
it'll take several rounds of this because you what you want to do is get you know reduce the weak point to gauge all the way oh shit all right there we go there we go get that central keep health is falling but that's fine because I got this and then you'll see a nice little cinematic thing once it goes all the way down to do some a pretty significant amount of damage there but it is not dead yet still oh that attack does actually stun gotta be careful whoa 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 that actually stunned me there well <laughs> I fucked that up something attacked me it's going through it's going through oh my god do I really want to I mean I could I could re-attack you there we go to take it back all right it's coming over here Now I just need for him to yep, do that. This will let me do a little bit more damage. But I may actually have to uh oh my god, stun the weak gauge the weak point gauge all the way once again. Hmm. Come on, King Dodongo. It's actually not doing anything, okay. There we go. And see? Yeah, well, what the game does is that it utilizes, you know, the, the iconic weak points of these various enemies, like bombs for Dodongos. Everybody knows that, you know? King Dodongo defeated. Perfect. Weapon acquired. And apparently the enemy wizard has seized the castle. So the beast was just a distraction. Where's Princess Zelda? Is she safe? Oh, I can't even use my items anymore, dude. Hmm. We can't locate Princess Zelda. I pray she's safe. I must ask for your help in finding her. I trust you are willing. Link. I'll be a hero worthy of wearing this tunic. The Triforce is the harmonious union of power, wisdom, and courage. It has been the object of countless battles between the forces of light and darkness. Each time the Triforce fell into the clutches of evil, Hyrule was plunged into misery. But in every age, a hero, clad in green, would restore peace to the land. During one of these dark times, the legendary hero split the spirit of evil into four fragments, sealing each away to finally break the cycle of destruction. Three of the fragments were scattered across time and space. The final fragment was sealed in a sacred temple built upon holy ground, imprisoned by the blade of evil's bane. And that is it for the very first one. First level of the game. So you get a clear bonus, a clear time, uh, KOs also equates to rupees. Basically everything equates to rupees. And then bonus earned. Okay. Look at that. 10,000. You've collected some rupees. They can be spent on various things at the bazaar. And you also get some uh, weapons here. So that's uh, 
light plus that one has nothing i'll talk about this later and what this means with weapons slots plus uh light plus and nothing for that one okay you also get materials old rag monster tooth metal plate by collecting the pieces and completing illustrations you can get your hands on certain rewards to earn new illustration pieces to feed gold sculptulas. There are 13 illustrations in total. You can check how many pieces you've gathered for each illustration by going to the gallery's uh, illustration section. So we have one. You have locked the following free mode, adventure mode, challenge mode, and gallery. You've unlocked a new costume for Link, Era of the Wild's tunic. New costume for Zelda, okay. Destructive Force Metal. Rupees and materials acquired during a scenario can be used in the bazaar for a handful of things. Press R while on the select scenario screen to access the bazaar. Strengthen your warriors here. First, select the warrior you'd like to take to the, to the bazaar. So here you can see every single character that's available to us. Now this is mostly for adventure mode. There's a lot of characters. Zant, Midna, Agatha, Ruto. And then over here we got more. Sia, Volga, Wizro. And Linkle. Oh my god. Okay. Do I actually have to do that? I have to select someone? Okay. At the badge market, you can craft special badges for your warriors to grant them unique enhancements. Creating badges for your warriors at the badge market will help improve their battle abilities. The bonuses granted by a badge uh, apply only to the warrior for whom it was created. Certain badges require both rupees and specific materials, but the benefits they add to warriors can be immensely helpful in battle. All badges are divided into the attack, defense, and assist categories. Go ahead and select defense category first. Okay, there's glowing spaces, uh-huh. So if I do like this here, allows a warrior to use a potion once per battle. Create empty bottle one, so this costs what? One old rag and a hundred rupees, very, very simple. That's it. With the empty bottle one badge, warriors will be able to use potions during battle. There are other shops that can improve your warriors as well, so be sure to check them out. And that's it. All right, you are now able to increase Link's repertoire of action of attack actions. Try creating the Kokiri Sword attack badge. That's gonna be for. That's fine, because I'm pretty much out of time for this video. All right, so before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to go and leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I post multiple gaming videos on a daily basis, so hopefully you enjoy my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.